Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Super Saiyan 2 category Super Battle Road stage. So this is Super Saiyan 2 only uh, and it's a pretty decent stage. Um, there's quite a lot of decent options in terms of team build. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through my team build and then we'll talk about alternatives. Uh, so I have the uh, Tech Vegeta, the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta as my lead. He's a Super Saiyan 2 category lead and he's pretty strong. Uh, he obviously has attack and defense of 100%, gains additional defense depending on how much health you have and attack. And he gains additional attack and defense when he gets 3 or more key spheres. Uh, I've kind of used him alongside the LR Martian Vegeta. Uh, very very good unit that recently got his EZA, uh, very strong overall with a good AoE damage, defense for 150% uh, and obviously he also has quite a decent amount of crit chance uh, etc. But he has a pretty strong link set overall, uh, very very decent unit uh, and I just really really like him. Uh, on his ultra super attack he does AoE damage. Uh, with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, a very, very crucial skill uh, that a lot of people are using to help run this event, especially the first stage uh, here against multiple Cell Juniors. So Vegeta is pretty solid. Then I've gone for a couple free-to-play options just to help alleviate some of the requirements for the team. Uh, essentially, it's quite difficult to make a full team. Uh, of only LR or summonable units so what I've decided is I throw in some free to play units uh, that are all pretty strong in their own right and are a very nice unit to utilize. I've also got the LR Kale and Khalifla which is why I decided to go with the um, you know free to play easy air units because having two LRs in the team makes it pretty difficult for people to do the same build uh, so what I've decided is I balance it out by using some free to play units. So in terms of the LR, Kale and Khalifa, they have attack and defense of 66%. They raise defense on their 12 and 18 key, and they also have an additional attack of 6% uh, with each attack performed. They gain 10% attack per universe 6, join forces or pure sands, category ally on the team. So overall, they're pretty cool, pretty interesting option. Uh, pretty, pretty solid overall. Uh, in terms of the free to play units, we're using the Universe 6 free to play Easy A's. Uh, so that Super Saiyan 2 Kaba, uh, who's a very solid unit, um, he raises defense on his super attack. He has attack and defense of 120%, uh, increased crit chance attack and defense of 7% per Universal Survival Saga category ally on the team, of which we have four of them. Uh, and then an additional attack of 70% when there's another Pure Sands category ally in the same turn. We're just going to be floating Kaba, uh, he's just there to do some damage and be a decent floating tank, uh, but overall he's a pretty solid option uh, to utilize. Then alongside the LR, uh, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. The reason I've gone with Khalifla alongside the LR uh, is because I just believe she's a bit better defensively due to her evasion, even though the Int Kale would buff the uh, you know, Super Saiyan 2 LR quite a lot. Uh, in terms of Super Saiyan 2, Khalifla, she got attack and defense of 30%, uh, up to 160% and chance of evading the enemy super attack per Universal Survival Saga category ally on the team. Uh, we have four of them, again, so we're looking at 120% and 60% evasion chance. She also has attack of 70% when there's a character whose name includes Kale on the team, uh, and she also raises defense by 30% for three turns on her super attack. So because of the 60% evasion chance, uh, that's kind of why I've gone with her uh, over using you know, the Int uh, Kale alongside the LR Kale and Khalifa. Obviously, uh, again, the AoE from Margin Vegeta does help a lot, um, and it's very difficult to kind of say it doesn't. Uh, we will be doing a no item run to some extent of this as well, uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how the strategy changes in terms of that. But overall, I just thought I'd try and balance out the team by introducing some free to play units. There's a lot of decent builds you can kind of run with this and we'll talk about them now but the final unit is the in Super Saiyan 2 Kale. She's got attack and defense of 120% when performing a super attack. She gives Universal Survival Saga category allies 2 key and attack and defense of 30% and defense is 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Khalifla on the team. 
She also gives all allies key plus one in attack and defense, and a chance to perform a crit of 16% if that ally is attacking in the same turn. Now she's pretty strong defensively, um, she's really really solid and she'd really buff up the LR, but I really just kind of wanted to utilize the evasion, because I think evading super attacks and a lot of these new SBR uh, makes things way easier uh, just overall. So in general that was kind of the team build, uh, I think overall it worked very well. Uh, it was a strong team build, it, it definitely handled the event quite easily, uh, it was a first attempt as well. A little bit more damage would have been nice, uh, definitely think Khalifla uh, could be replaced with someone that does a bit more damage, uh, but overall I think the team worked more than fine. In terms of other suitable options, there are plenty of great options for uh, the team. So you've got units like the LR, AGL, Super Saiyan Gohan, You've got units like the N Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the physical LR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. All of those are very usable, uh, even the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth, the tech one. Uh, I think all of all of the LRs, I think the Super Saiyan 2 based LRs are usable. Then you've got some really good TUR options. You've got the Bond of Friendship, uh, Khalif Lang Kale. If you want to run a Universe 6 team, I think they're awesome. The Strength Kefla is actually a pretty good lead, considering how many Universe 6 Saiyans are on Super Saiyan 2, she's fantastic. Uh, then you've got the Boiling Superpower Super Saiyan Goku, uh, also very very good, uh, very strong defensively, incredibly solid. You then got a whole bunch of Super Saiyan 2 support Goku options, uh, the physical one, the AGL one, the tech one, all three of those are very usable uh, and 100% will help you out. You've then got units like the in Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel. You've got units like the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Uh, very solid options as well. And of course the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku that turns into SS3. Uh, also an incredibly powerful unit. Very, very strong. You've got the physical Kefla uh, as well. Very, very good unit. And of course we've got the Int Margin Vegeta. Uh, super powerful unit. Very strong. I think uh, what helps out the most with the end phase uh, here against Goku is obviously stunning. Uh, I think stunning a single target unit is pretty helpful. Uh, my strategy was just basically I used AGL units. Uh, having units like Vegeta and Kale and Khalifla uh, did like do a lot of damage. And so it makes things a lot easier uh, to kind of control the battle. And you have a lot of type advantage, and they're defensively strong against him as well, uh, which helps. Overall, I think, you know, in terms of team build, this whole team worked fine. I think if I had to change anything, uh, I would probably either switch to a full Universe 6, uh, just because I think Universe 6 is incredibly strong uh, altogether. I think they're a very, very powerful team. And so I would probably run a full Universe 6, uh, because I think that would be something that's pretty powerful and pretty usable. Or I would use a Margin Blue Saga team, possibly. If I had the Int Vegeta, I'd probably use the Int Margin Vegeta, uh, use the AGL Margin Vegeta. I'd swing in uh, the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku uh, if I had him. Uh, the Int Super Saiyan 2 Goku is also very, very solid. Uh, so that's already probably yeah, four or five of the strongest Super Saiyan 2 units in the game, uh, all running under pretty good lead. You can also run Super Saiyan 2 Tech Vegeta, uh, and you can also run some of these solid support Gokus. There's some really solid support Goku options, uh, the physical Goku, uh, the Tech Goku, and the AGL Goku, uh, that are all really good Super Saiyan 2 supports. Uh, I like the physical one, uh, just because he's obviously quite strong defensively, uh, but the AGL one's also pretty solid, uh, a bit more like attack orientated, but he's pretty decent. He's a 60% defense support as well, uh, which is really, really solid, and then you have the Super Saiyan, the tech Super Saiyan 2, uh, which is also solid. If you can, try and bring some kind of stun and control, uh, especially for the final fight. Uh, it is very, very helpful. That's part of what makes the AGL LR Margin Vegeta so strong, uh, is his ability to kind of uh, control the fight and provide AoE stunning, uh, which is really, really good. But yeah, overall, pretty solid. Uh, really, really enjoyed uh, running this team, and everything ran perfectly fine. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your team builds. 
let me know if you guys are struggling with the stage uh, or of course you can just give me uh, some advice or feedback on how everything's going but yeah thank you guys for watching uh, and i will see you guys in the next video so if you enjoyed the video you can leave a like on it or leave a comment down below and i'll try and get back to you but otherwise as always guys take care stay safe and i will see you in the next video but until then as always see you guys next time bye